CRF 250F. Should you buy it? Probably yes, if you're a beginner like me. Uh, yeah, it's a great bike. Uh, you know, it's not not fast or quick by any means, but uh, it's you know it's a little tractor, and uh, I'm loving it. Um, I've started out on bigger bikes and kind of worked my way down uh, to this thing, and uh, it's a really good fit for me. Uh, I'm about 5'11", so uh, it's got a really good seat height. Uh, I can get my feet on the ground. Um, yeah, overall awesome bike. You know, you already know it's got the fuel injection, uh, basically a bulletproof engine. Um, got some couple of modifications on this one. Um, I've got the Pro Taper bars. Got the Tusk uh, hand guards, and I eventually want to get like a slip-on uh, pipe for it, just to give it uh, a little bit better sound. Um, this thing's super quiet, which is nice, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I've I've heard these with with the uh, with the slip-on, and they sound really good. Um, so yeah, I really don't. The only thing I have uh, that I don't like on this thing is the oil uh, dipstick. Uh, where this is, so this is the dipstick. Unscrew this, pull it out. Uh, this part of the engine case, I have whacked this thing on uh, rocks. You know, uh, it just kind of it's like in a very vulnerable spot. Uh, and it's already like, you know, it's kind of difficult uh, to get this like threaded in. I have to be really careful not to cross thread it because uh, it's kind of like dented in here. Um, so I probably whacked that about five or six times already. Um, I don't know. I probably have to end up getting like some kind of shield or something for it. Um, yeah, mostly on single track trails uh, where it's really tight. Uh, you know, I've just freaking whack the shit out of that thing and pretty much makes me cringe every time. So, uh, yeah, but other than that, uh, it rides great. You know, the suspension is soft. Um, you can take it off little jumps, you know, but like nothing crazy like motocross track style of jump. Um, yeah, and these are kind of, these forks are kind of like hang down low. I've whacked these a couple times already, but it's kind of whatever. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I got really got nothing else to say. Oh, um, one thing a lot of people like, and myself included, I've, you know, I've always wondered about the... Uh, 1.6 gallon fuel tank. Uh, I was kind of like sketched out by that, thinking it's it's not going to be sufficient. Um, but I've been averaging about 80 miles a gallon with this thing. Um, I just got back from a like 60 mile ride over about I don't know five hours and I don't know about you but my ass is sore my shoulders are sore pretty much my whole body hurts um, you know and I maybe used a gallon of gas so I really wouldn't worry about the capacity um, you know it's not it's not a dual sport bike you know so but even with a 1.6 gallon tank, I mean, you can literally ride this thing all day uh, without having to refuel. Uh, so, yep, yeah, that's that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this, uh, I don't know, somewhat, hopefully somewhat helpful review. And, yeah, if you get one of these, get out and enjoy it.